But once again, we're talking about Adrian, the problem, Broner. And guys, uh, Brother Broner has been going through it as of late. Uh, you guys know he's somewhat in the uh, crossroads of his career, uh, looking for a big opportunity. Now, you guys know recently uh, he just parted ways uh, with BOK Prime. Uh, he signed to BOK Prime in a three fight deal. I think it was worth 10 to 12 million dollars. And we all know what happened with that. Uh, he didn't even have one fight on BOK Prime. And it wasn't for lack of trying, guys. He did try to get that, you know, that first fight across the line there. And for whatever reason, uh, the three individuals pulled out for, you know, had to pull out of the fight for their individual reasons, of course. And I guess Broner just had enough. And he decided to part ways with them, saying on his uh, verified social media uh, that they just weren't able to deliver what he needed. And now he's a free agent and he's, you know, looking for people to call him, but basically looking for an opportunity. And Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn, who is a promoter for Matchroom Boxing, uh, came out and said that he is not interested. Let me repeat that. He says he's not interested in signing Adrian the Problem Broner. So I want to read what he had to say, guys, and give you guys my take on this situation uh, with Broner guys, this terrible situation that he's in right now. So he says, there was a time when I was desperate to sign Adrian Broner. I thought he was amazing, said Eddie Hearn to the DAZN Boxing Show when asked if he was interested in signing promotional free agent Adrian Broner to his matchroom stable. I've had three or four messages in the last week with people trying to get me to work with Adrian Broner. He has value, He's still a good fighter. I just feel that there's I just feel there's a value, a price, and I just feel that it's one that Adrian probably won't agree with. He'll struggle to accept that. Obviously, he's made a lot of money and been involved in big fights, but he's not the draw he once was. He'll always be a draw because he has got a great story. So that's what Eddie Hearn uh, had to say about Adrian Broner, guys. And this is what I mean by things looking bleaker for Adrian Broner. Uh, you know, he can't even sign to matchroom boxing. Uh, Eddie Hearn doesn't even want him there. And then he pretty much, he kind of burned his bridges uh, with the PPC when he went, you know, kind of talking bad about Al Heyman and talking about them owing him money. And then he kind of backtracked on that, of course. And of course, this, you know, he thought that the, the BOK Prime deal uh, was going to be his savior. And, you know, he didn't foresee this type of stuff happening. And, you know, you can't really foresee that. You know, he went into it uh, with great intentions. Uh, he got in shape, guys. Uh, he said he put down his vices. He stopped drinking. He stopped going to the club. He started focusing on his career. And I get it. He's an older guy now. And, you know, sometimes it takes people a little bit longer to get their head on straight. And I think this is what happened with Adrian Broner. But at the same time, uh, he was burning bridges. And this is why you shouldn't burn bridges. Because, you you know, you never know when you're going to be in a situation uh, where you need somewhere to turn. And I think this is Adrian, Adrian Broner's dilemma right now. And if I was him, I would call Al. I would definitely call Al Heyman. I would do what I have to do. I would apologize. Uh, I, I would somehow convince him to get me back in there uh, to prove myself, uh, to prove myself as a fighter, uh, to prove that I can be a more mature fighter. I can go in here and do what needs to be done. Uh, stop playing around. Stop it with all these shenanigans and just do uh, what what I do best. Uh, that's boxing. That's what Adrian Broner needs to do. Sometimes you just need to take. A little bit of humble pie uh, when you're in a bad situation and, you know, try to make the best of it. I think that's what he needs to do. He's he's not going to get he's not going to get anything from Eddie Hearn. Uh, top rank. I, I, I just can't see that. You guys know what happened would be OK. Prime. I think him calling Al is the best thing to do. But that's my opinion on that, guys. Uh, you guys tell me what you think about Adrian, the problem Broner and you know, his somewhat dilemma here, guys. I, I do feel for the guy. Uh, I think he's a great fighter. I think he just, you know, made some bad choices in his life. And now he wants to straighten everything out. 
and he just needs that opportunity guys so you guys let me know what you think about this in the comments section it's the cmb i'll talk to you guys in the next one and i'm out peace